Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 966. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about the stock market correction continues because I'm seeing that The S&P 500 had a strong rebound yesterday. However, after a couple of sharp down days, a rebound was due. And what actually happened was a couple of days ago, we had one of the sharp drops drop below the 50-day moving average line. And then with yesterday's rebound, it rebounded back from below the 50-day moving average to above the 50-day moving average. This tells me that we're not quite done with this pullback yet. I'm still looking for the S&P 500 to get down to about 4350 to close that gap. And I think it's gonna take a little while to do it. But in the meantime, we may bounce above the 50 day moving average for a while before dropping back below. I wouldn't be surprised to see that. And the fear and greed index is not fearful enough quite yet. We also see that the stock market is not quite as oversold as it could be. I'd like to see it get into firm oversold territory. And that means we can put in a good bottom and move higher. And I still think December looks very strong. You know, it occurred to me that our currency looks like it's getting weaker. And it could be that December is actually a crack up boom, which is an Austrian economics term for when the currency loses value and people are moving their money out of paper money into physical things, whether that is real estate, whether that's cryptocurrency, whether it's farmland or precious metals, there's going to come a time where we see a bigger exodus out of the currency. It's not quite here yet, but I think it's just around the corner. Silver is looking very oversold here. In fact, it's a tremendous buy. This might be close to the bottom for silver where we start to see things turn. And as I've said, December was the month I thought silver would start to get stronger and I'm still looking for that 28 to $30 target on silver. So that means we're gonna see some dramatic days for silver ahead. But when the Fed is talking more about tapering, that does tend to wreak havoc with the markets. And it tends to make the money go from one extreme to another, which causes some instability and uncertainty, which causes stock market volatility. I think we're going to see more money move into precious metals, more money move into cryptocurrency, and money move into tech stocks. In the meantime, if we get any sharp down days, those are great buying opportunities, whether that's in precious metals, mining stocks, or the stock market or tech stocks, or cryptocurrencies for that matter. Speaking of cryptocurrencies, I did my webinar yesterday for the people who purchased my book and got the book bonuses, one of which was a webinar with me about my favorite cryptocurrencies and where I see them going and why I see them to be so strong and why I see them to be the clear superior technology going forward, the Amazons and the Googles of their day. So if you haven't collected your book bonuses, you can go on over to my website at lindapjones.com forward slash book bonus and fill in the blank with your Amazon receipt number and you can get a link to the recording and listen to my webinar that I did. Speaking of my book, the Kindle version is now available and I'm working on the audio version, which should be out in around a month's time. I'll let you know when we get closer to that. Once again, I'm not seeing a crash here. I think this is about a 6% decline peak to trough. And should we hit around 4350, that will probably do it to bring back maximum fear to close the gap in the stock market and to bring us down to levels where we can take off from there and move on to new highs into the new year. 
In the cryptocurrency markets, what's interesting right now is a lot of airdrops being offered. Now, airdrops are like dividends on stocks. They're extra crypto that's given to you for free. Sometimes it indicates there's a hard fork in the blockchain, but a lot of times it's just to encourage the community or to give back or to get more enthusiasm going. There's various reasons why an airdrop can be declared. Some airdrops are more valuable than others. Some will not ever amount to anything. In fact, I think the vast majority of them probably won't be worth much. However, there's a handful that are already extremely valuable and will continue to grow in value, in my opinion. Some examples of that are a couple of days ago, we were able to set up a trust line to receive an airdrop, and it turned out that we could get a maximum of 1,000 of this cryptocurrency for owning 1,000 of XRP, which is currently trading at about a dollar. So for about $1,000 worth of XRP, we actually hooked into a $38,000 airdrop that will be delivered to us at the end of December. That follows on with an $800 airdrop we received. And of course, the Flare Networks airdrop is still out there, yet to be realized, but is already showing itself to be very valuable. Going forward, one of the airdrops that we are looking at receiving is over $6 a token. We don't know how many of those we're going to receive in the airdrop, but we do know this is a very valuable cryptocurrency that is a decentralized exchange of tokenized value. And I think this one is poised to do very well in the future. The situation with airdrops is all of them have different circumstances. They have different requirements that they want you to do in order to connect with them. And you have to do some due diligence on what the underlying crypto is and if it's really worth collecting that airdrop. And then there are the airdrops out there that are just outright scams. So you have to be careful and do your due diligence. But if you know what you're looking for, airdrops can provide free money a nice windfall for you, and that's always exciting, especially while we're going through a stock market correction. I wanna say thank you again for helping my book, Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies, hit number one on Amazon in the US, Canada, and Australia. Finally, there's an easy way to learn more and share valuable information with friends and family who aren't yet understanding what the quantum age is all about and how much wealth is being created. I wrote the book because I don't want you or anyone else to miss out on this unique opportunity to potentially take a little money and turn it into crazy wealth. It makes a great holiday gift for anyone who's interested in financial freedom, whether they are young or old, a new or experienced investor. I'm continuing the drawing for people who purchase the book and enter their Amazon receipt at lindapjones.com forward slash book bonus. And for writing a review on Amazon, I'm having the next drawing. What can you win? Well, I'm giving away 25 autographed copies of the book. I'm also giving away $100 worth of XRP cryptocurrency, which is worth $100 today, but could be worth much, much more in the future and I think it will be. You could also win a wealth mentoring session with me, which is a $500 value, or a lifetime membership in the Be Wealthy and Smart VIP experience. Winners will be announced on the podcast on January 17th, so mark your calendar to tune in and see if you've won. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.